So, angry comments. Some love them, some hate them, and I'm in the former boat for two very simple reasons. Number one, they are very entertaining to read, and number two, because of the aforementioned, it's also free money since I can talk about them whenever I want and have an entertaining new video. I mean, it's no secret that angry comments are my favorite type of videos to upload, and surprisingly enough, one video which I didn't expect getting angry comments was my response to IGN's terrible review of Little Company. But as you might guess, that's exactly what happened, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's at least 10 times better than some of the other comments I've gotten on that video. Such as people not fully watching the video and trying to look smart by repeating the same shit I said in the video, or worse yet, trying to start a degenerate Diet Coke Twitter thread, because apparently, it's perfectly normal to wanna dress up like a clown and have sex with any- Okay, maybe let's not get into that, because I would very much like to make money from this shit. Either way, to not stretch this shit any further, let's get right to the angry comments I picked out for today, starting with this guy. Another far right wing crybaby channel. Boomer laughing emoji times free. Unsubscribing. Bruh. What the actual fuck did I just read? And it's only the first combat, like, holy shit. But yeah. This is all because I dared to criticize sweet baby penis, <laughs> and it really shows you how brain that motherfuckers these days are. Like, I already know this retard subscribed over my videos criticizing Synthetic Man, yet despite that, in his infinite stupidity, he never once got the message I kept repeating time and time again, that pushing politics into video games is a bad thing. And then when I keep that same energy for his favorite political spectrum, suddenly he can't handle it. And the sad part is, this guy's not even an exception. Back when I made my video on that one retard who was fearmongering about Atomic Heart, I got a bunch of Russian extremists in my comments, which is why on top of having them experience Russian free speech, I also made a point to say in my follow-up video that supporting the invasion of that one country next to Poland, which I cannot name for monetary reason, makes you human garbage. Because here's the thing, as much as money is my primary motivator on YouTube, I also want my audience to be fucking normal, otherwise I would just become fucking Optimus. But yeah, next comment. I would have agreed with you if you didn't use the MUSLER. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, so this is fucking golden. So you can say, the earth is round, retards, and this guy would be like, well, now that you said the word I don't like, I'm gonna believe it's flat. Like, seriously. Imagine being that fucking soft. But hold on, it gets worse. Because he then tried to argue with me about how you cannot ignore words, and then spent six hours with no break arguing with people on my community posts that were making fun of him. I am not joking. He would literally reply to every single comment in literal seconds. The community post is still up, you can see it for yourself. This people is a perfect example of why you shouldn't take the internet seriously. Or put your insecurities on full display for that matter. Okay shit, why is this video suddenly turning into life lessons now? <laughs> well, moving on. The only thing I could think about the entire video was SHUT UP YOU WHINY IDIOT! Ah uh, yes, because that's a totally normal thought to have while watching a YouTube video instead of just, you know, clicking off. Though, considering this guy is the type of person to leave angry comments over something as insignificant as criticism of bad reviews, I think it's safe to conclude he's definitely the furthest thing from normal at this point. And not just towards the IGN review, in fact, mostly not towards it! Bro, they're not gonna fuck you. At least he delivers his garbage opinions without an air of obnoxious and superiority. I find your lack of self-awareness disturbing because objectively rating video games on a scale from 1 to 10 is the literal definition of obnoxious unearned superiority. And if me criticizing that makes me worse than that, then what does that make you for crying in my comment section? I don't think he thought this one through. You look so much more concerned with getting a cheap gacha moment or a comeback than to actually listen to the arguments being said. I detect some strong projection in that statement considering this guy is now going to disregard every factual bit of information presented in my video all because of a few jabs added for comedic effect. That's some impeccable debating logic right there and totally not a logical fallacy of its own right whatsoever. I mean, 
You'll really love to see it. I mean, from what I can see, you're not really much better than him. Ah, okay. So according to this guy's logic, if I criticize someone, I am literally just as bad, if not worse. So let's say I criticize Hitler. According to this guy, that makes me literally <laughs> worse than Hitler. And in the hilarious turn of events, the guy in the video I'm responding to, Edgy Rick, did turn out to unironically be a neo nazi So yeah, I don't think this is the gacha you were looking for, my mans, but what can you do with retarded motherfuckers? You just for some reason hate him, the same as he hates DST. Ah yes, because criticizing someone means totally that I HATE that person. 10 out of 10 logic right there. Never mind the fact that I'm completely chill with a number of people I made videos on, but no! I absolutely can't stand them, am I right? You honestly have to try to be this fucking stupid. Also, I'd say anti-semitism is a perfectly justified reason to wish him a minor inconvenience every day, yeah? Because he sometimes makes some ACC truly true claims. No, he does not, as they are all double standards, as I clearly explained in the video that you clearly haven't watched. And you just disregard it as some bullshit, because it is, what's the point? Just to clarify, I love DST, I have 900 hours on it as of now. Weird flex, but okay. Side tangent though, why is it that every time someone brings up having a lot of hours in a game, that they say some of the most retarded shit imaginable? Uh, actually, never mind, and the answer is obvious. And I'm not a fan of AG Rick. Bait used to be believable. But that's exactly what I think what I said. Those two statements do not correlate in the slightest, but okay. DST isn't perfect, you know? And I stated otherwise, where exactly? Oh, wait, I didn't. So this is just a typical case of a blind fanboy pulling shit out of his ass. You know, the usual. That's the worst game I ever played. Oh, hello generic comment number 10 million. I legitimately do not get motherfuckers who get so pissy over someone criticizing a bad take over a video game, but then again, I also go outside, so that's probably why. Funnily enough, the weather is surprisingly nice these days. I was expecting a lot of rain, but no. It's warm, green, clear skies, and the air smells nice. Fuck. I'm getting sidetracked again. Next comment. You need a life, maybe a job too. Am I the only one who detects a lot of remorse emanating from this comment? But yeah. How's staying in university for a master's degree for a life? Seems pretty dope to me, but what do I know? I'm only living it. I can't even imagine being this pathetic. Send the man sitting behind his screen, take the time out of his day to get into an argument with a idiot on the internet and then proceeding to make a video in order to form views from silk song deprived lunatics. I mean, are you saying it worked? But yeah, there's one very simple reason for it. Money. Meanwhile, what do you get by molding in my comments? Oh wait, nothing except making me more money while making yourself look stupid. I mean, I personally can't imagine being that pathetic, but fortunately for you, you don't have to imagine it since you already are that pathetic. But hey, if you still think that's bad, then you clearly have not seen everyone's favorite Reddit rage bait shadow company, Triple I Initiative, lying about having Silk Song in its showcase before proceeding to show off mostly lazy vampire survivors slash gungeon slash clash of clans clones. How's that for farming Silk Song the private lunatics? I'm just saying. If a AAA company did that, they would be sued into the fucking ground, but you know, it's an indie game centered shadow company that came to milk reddit and then disappear without a trace, so who's really gonna chase them? And this last comment is from an under the mayo fanboy who is almost two years late to the ultra kill drama. Yeah, those guys still exist. Crazy how an entire fandom can flame you just for having a different opinion than them. Ah yes. Because it's totally not because of multiple personal attacks with no arguments attached on multiple different occasions on top of just being factually wrong, am I right? But yeah, I guess the moral of the story here is my videos are bad because I'm too mean. <laughs> yeah, I honestly cannot even imagine being a grown adult and crying over fucking words of all things because it's totally not like they only have an impact that you yourself allow them to have or anything like that. I mean, if you really wanna hear how stupid you sound when you do that, go into a CSGO match and if you get matched with a Croat, 
Call him either Turkish or Serbian and you'll get a pretty good idea. And for all my fellow Croats, well, you have to think of something else. Aight, I'ma head out. Be sure to like and subscribe to boost me in the algorithm. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.